Wake up! What's up, guys? Ian here from Sleep Deprivation, back in Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Uh, just so you know, this is background footage that I recorded ahead of time. Uh, it's me doing the Dungeon in the Vault. Don't worry too much about it. Enjoy it if you want. But mainly, I'm going to be talking about how you should defend Final Fantasy XIV as a fan. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is I recently did a series of videos on the leveling problem, which uh, I won't go into detail of that. I'll just leave a link to those set of videos in the comment section, or sorry, not comment section, the description below, as well as uh, uh, over the course of this video. So if you want to go check them out, uh, I just talk about a section of the game that feels a little bit outdated and uh, as a result doesn't work so well in terms of the leveling system. Now, overall, the main thing you need to take from this is that I enjoy the game as a whole, but during this, or these particular set of videos, I was um, stating that I did not like a certain part of the game, that I thought a certain part of the game was not good. And some people like this part of the game. I also, uh, over the course of these videos, stated the fact that I am not paying attention to the story and am rather focusing on leveling more quickly in order to be able to play with my friends who are currently max level. Now, Final Fantasy XIV is a very story-driven game, and a lot of people don't like the fact that I said that I don't care about the story, as well as they didn't like my opinion in regards to this leveling problem that I was talking about. Now, the thing that got me confused is that these people are fans. Big enough fans, first of all, to watch a video. Well, first of all, they play the game. Then they're big enough fans to watch a video about the game they play on YouTube. Then even bigger fans to comment on it, sometimes even replying to my comments that I reply back to them. So, they care a decent amount about the game, and they seem pretty passionate, but a lot of them would say things like, This game isn't for you. You don't understand this game, you should stop playing. Quit playing this game. Go play WoW instead. You know what? Why are you even playing this game? You, you're stupid, you shouldn't play this game. And all around basically telling me to not play the game that they're a big fan of. So here I am, with a harsh critique of a certain part of the game, and rather than try and convince me that either that part of the game is good, or that the game itself is good, a lot of people would tell me to quit the game. And then it's not for me, which seems a little counterproductive. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of quite a few games, of one of which is Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. I mean, I play the game relatively regularly, and I make videos on it. I obviously like the game. That's why I'm making videos on it and still playing it. And if someone was, you know, talking poorly about it, I would try to encourage them to keep playing, because as a fan, I want more people to enjoy the amazing game that I also enjoy. I also want uh, more people to play it because the more people that play the game, the more people that spend money on the game, the more resources that game is going to have, the more likely it's going to get more attention and uh, more uh, development time to get us players that are currently enjoying it more content. Now, let's say uh, you were trying to you know, talk towards me, for example, and my particular issue. Hey, this part of the game, okay, yeah, this part of the game, maybe you're not enjoying it so much for the reasons you stated, uh, but it's only a small part of the overall leveling process. It's going to get better. The game still has a lot to offer. It offers blah, 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 and blah. And uh, this whole thing is just a small aspect of a much greater game. So don't get discouraged. Keep going at it. You may not be liking this one part, but it's definitely worth it to plow through it and keep going on for the rest of the game. As far as the story, okay, you don't, you're don't, you not paying attention to the story. The story is great. I would recommend you do go back and check it out, even if you're not doing it right now. But okay, you're, you're not a fan of the story. You don't have to play. There's still a lot the game has to offer, even if you don't like the story. Now, you see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to encourage this person, which would be myself, I guess, in this circumstance, 
to keep playing the game rather than focus on the fact that it's my issue and that the game is not for me and that I should go play something else. I'm rather instead saying, hey, you don't like this one part, maybe you'll like these other parts. Or maybe you're thinking about this one part from a different point of view and you should think about it like this and it might seem better. Like, there's a lot of different ways that you can approach a circumstance like this to encourage the player to keep playing, to make them see it from your point of view, to get them to like the game better than they already do, or if they don't like it at all, to get them to like it at all. Because then they'll want to play more, they'll tell their friends that it's a good game, their friends will want to play, and it'll be an all-around greater experience, more new players, more people playing the game, more money going into the game you love so it can get more attention, more development. Now, one of the biggest things that I don't like about the way some people try to uh, react to, uh, or in, at least in my circumstance, the way they reacted to my negative opinion on a certain aspect of the game, is they would tell me to go play WoW. Now, right now, uh, at least from a commercial standpoint, WoW is a more successful game than Final Fantasy XIV and a direct competitor to it. So that's like, you know, someone who likes, you know, Pepsi saying, oh, you know what, you should just go back to drinking Coke. What? Why would you do that? Why would you tell someone to play the direct competition to your game? You're only going to make that competition more successful and your competition less successful. Plus, you're driving home the fact of, hey, if you don't like one little part of this game, or you don't like this part, then you should go play some other game. You're basically saying that, hey, this game has no other redeeming qualities, you're better off playing this other game, which almost makes it sound like, and I know you're not intending it this way, that you're telling me to go play a better game. Because if people don't like a game and think it's a bad game, they often go to play a better game. So if you're telling me to not play this game and go play WoW instead, it's almost like saying WoW is a better game. And that that just doesn't make sense from a fan standpoint. I mean, I guess uh, I'm starting to sound a little bit like a broken record here, but if you like a game, defend that game by talking about its merits, by talking about what's good about the game. Say, this part of the game's awesome. You don't like this part? Well, there's this instead. Stop focusing on the fact that someone doesn't like something and trying to scare them away, and instead encourage them to keep playing. Talk about the good parts of your game. So, um, anyways, that's just my little bit of a, my two cents on how I feel fans of Final Fantasy XIV, and honestly, any game, if you're a fan of any game, you should be defending it in a way that makes the game seem appealing and encourages players to keep playing, rather than just telling them to stop playing, to quit, that the game's not for them, that they just can't appreciate it, or, worst of all, go play a different game. If you're a fan of a game, never tell someone else to play a different game, because you're not, you don't sound like a fan then. You're sounding like it just, it's not good enough to appeal to that person, which if you're a true fan, you should honestly believe that it has the ability to appeal to a large variety of people, which I personally believe Final Fantasy XIV does. You can, if you don't like the story, or if you're not paying attention to the story, you can still have a ton of fun, like I am right now. I like this game currently a lot more than I like the current product of World of Warcraft. Which is why I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm not playing WoW right now. I'm not uploading World of Warcraft videos, I'm uploading Final Fantasy XIV videos. Anyways, uh, that's just my thought, though. If you guys have a different idea, or if you agree, disagree, think I'm an idiot, whatever the case, leave a comment in the section below, let me know. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and that little bell thing that uh, everyone is talking about with the whole notification squad stuff is too. Uh, I'll be up and uploading more videos on Final Fantasy XIV because uh, I'm having a lot of fun and the videos seem to be doing well. So yeah, look for or look forward to more good stuff coming up. I'll talk to you guys later.